Howdy, folks. Every now and then, I get a machine that's uh, just so pretty I can't help doing a video on it. I've done several videos on SM3s before, but this one's just gorgeous. I love the color on it. It's a uh, really, really pale lime green. This is one that somebody had brought in locally here to be cleaned up and uh, do a full refurb on. And he's on his way over to pick it up, so I figured I'd shoot a little video before he does. Because, man, it's a beauty. It wasn't too incredibly bad. There, uh, there was a bunch of eraser shavings and a good bit of old dr dried up oil, but uh, it all cleaned out nicely. These SM3s are so rewarding to clean up because once they're done, they just shine inside and out. You know, the paint has a really nice luminescent quality to it. And the, uh, the frame on these things is probably one of my favorite things about them. They have this nice red body frame that just displays so well once you get it cleaned up because they have this baked on paint finish that just glows. So we did a full chemical treat on this one. We replaced the body bushings right there. Um, yanked the platen out, sent it off to JJ Short. While that was going on, yanked the feed rollers out and did a full reconditioning on them. Didn't replace them, but did recondition them because um, they were all slick and dried and hard at, on the outside, and uh, so were the feed rollers. I don't know why, you know, I've never seen uh, Olympia feed rollers do this before, but they had this weird kind of bubbly stuff on them and ended up having to scrape them with a dadgum dental tool and, you know, then chemically treat them multiple times. But they eventually softened up really, really nicely. And uh, now they're all super grippy. So this particular machine types in an elite typeface. Um, 11 characters to the inch. And it's, uh, it's in excellent mechanical condition now. Um, there were a couple of squawks on it when it first came in. Um, specifically, there was a... There was a burr in the segment slot for the number six key, which was a, a fun repair because it was the burr in there was not visible to the naked eye. I had to use not just my crazy magnification hood, which kind of sucks, but that in conjunction with another magnifying glass just to be able to see it. You know, I knew it was there because the key wasn't moving like it ought to. And, you know, I had isolated that particular, <clears throat> that particular phase in the kinetic chain, so I knew it was on the key arm and not somewhere else in the physics path. But, uh, eventually got it fixed. Thankfully, without having to remove the key arm. I'll give her a little type test here and show off how she works. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Super smooth and easy, man. Just like an SM3 ought to be. It's, uh... It's one of the better typers out there. On the red setting. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Pretty stinking nice. So there you go. Little uh, lime green SM3. 
I didn't bother to look up what year it's from, or if I did, I don't remember. I'll probably check it here before long. But, uh... It's gonna make somebody very happy. I hope they enjoy it. Later, y'all.